In the crowded world of fitness and supplements, new miracle supplements are always coming along. Something I learned from the wild claims made on the labels of BCAA supplements back in the day is that something that sounds too good to be true most likely is. But every so often something will come along which isn't promising the world. Instead, there are more modest science-backed claims, such as boosting physical output, reducing muscle soreness, and increasing blood flow for those ever so important pumps. And although my heart had been broken in the past, I'm looking at you BCAAs, as more and more research has come out, I've realized citrulline malate actually packs some impressive benefits. To understand how citrulline malate works, we need to talk about a couple processes that happen within the body. The urea cycle and the nitric oxide cycle. First, the urea cycle. When you perform an intense activity, ammonia levels in the blood increase especially so when you perform intense activity that requires high amounts of strength. Aside from ammonia being quite toxic, this is actually really not a good thing for performance because high levels of ammonia act as a signal for muscle fatigue. When ammonia builds up, it inhibits the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA, which disrupts the systems which our body uses to create ATP energy and power our muscle contractions. Luckily, our body has a system to eliminate this ammonia, which is so detrimental to our bodies and performance. This cycle is called the urea cycle, and as the name suggests, it exists in our body to transform this toxic and problematic ammonia to a comparatively less toxic substance, urea. After the cycle, urea then gets sent to your kidneys through the blood, and from there is excreted through your urine. The urea cycle relies on three amino acids, citrulline, ornithine, and arginine. Here's how it works. Quick bio. In the mitochondria of a liver cell, ammonium is turned into carbamyl phosphate with the help of some ATP and CO2. Ornithine combines with that to form citrulline. Hey, wasn't that what we were supplementing though? Don't worry, I'll get to that. Anyway, the citrulline then leaves the mitochondria, combines with aspartate, and forms arginosuccinate which then transforms again into arginine. And finally, an enzyme acts on that, turning it into two things. Ornithine, to feed back into the cycle and do it again, and urea, which leaves your body in the form of pee. Now that this ornithine is back, it can go back into the mitochondria, grab another ammonia, which technically is packaged up for it as carbamyl phosphate, and do it all again. The limiting factor here, though, is the available ornithine, the more ornithine, the faster the body can clear away that fatigue-inducing ammonia. Before we can see how citrulline ties all of this together and turbocharges the system, we need to look at one other system, the nitric oxide cycle. In the nitric oxide cycle, that same amino acid, arginine, converts into citrulline and in the process gives off some nitric oxide and via some enzymes, it turns it into arginosuccinate and then back into arginine. Nitric oxide is important for signaling to increase blood flow, which helps with that pump effect. I know what you're saying at this point. Well, arginine is both a precursor to a system that clears away ammonia, and it is required to release nitric oxide, which helps with blood flow and pumps. So why are we talking about citrulline malate? Well, here's the thing. The standard pre-workout dose of L-arginine is 3 to 6 grams, but the bioavailability in other words, the body's ability to digest and use it is very poor. What does get digested leads to a sudden spike and drop in levels. And what's worse, taking more than 10 grams of arginine at once can result in gastrointestinal distress and diarrhea. Unlike taking an arginine supplement though, citrulline is very bioavailable when taken and because it gets immediately converted into arginine in the kidneys, amazingly, Citrulline is better able to increase arginine levels than arginine itself. This increase also comes in the form of a more controlled release. Because supplemental citrulline is turned into arginine in the kidneys, it can double arginine levels, and since arginine converts into ornithine, it also is found to double ornithine levels. So what are the implications of all of this? Studies have found that taking an L-citrulline supplement can improve physical work output, endurance, and reduce fatigue. In one of these studies, participants lifted 80% of their bench and leg press one rep max, and they then performed multiple sets with each one going to failure. One group took eight grams of citrulline malate, while another group consumed a placebo, 
the group that consumed the citrulline malate performed significantly more reps at a self-reported lower RPE. One criticism with this study, though, is that they were only given one minute of rest between sets, which anyone who power lifts knows is much shorter than a standard rest between sets. In two other studies, though, similar increases were found. In both of these studies, participants took a three-minute rest between sets. In all of these studies, increases came over time and were much more noticeable in later sets. For example, in one of the studies on citrulline malate, it was noticed that while 73% of the subjects reported non-response on set 1, all subjects reported response on set 8. Increases in nitric oxide are more difficult to measure. However, studies have noted an increase in the biomarkers which would suggest an increase in nitric oxide levels. This goes along with people who anecdotally report feeling a better pump effect. Also, notably, citrulline malate seems to have a profound effect in reducing delayed onset muscle soreness, also called DOMS, of which there was a reduction seen of 40%, sort of like the real reduction we've seen of DOM on YouTube, which is a perfect segue into the final benefit. In men with erectile dysfunction who were given just 1.5 grams of citrulline per day, after one month, half reported a major improvement in the quality of their erections. And on that note, it's time to end. I hope you enjoyed that quick breakdown on citrulline malate. Let me know which topic you'd like me to explore next. Until next time, D-Man, signing off. <laughs>